Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the best games of the week, so let's do it on this holiday season. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show. To deliver, so get ready for some apps and games. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the week, so you know how it goes. Here on Cool Loser Tech, let's stop the show. And the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Christmas Lights Live Wallpaper. You see in the background, little flashing lights to it, but nothing to the touch. It just looks really cool. Alrighty, let's get it on with the best games of the week now, shall we? And I'll start it off with Hungry Santa. But before we get started, Magwai wants to say, Happy Holidays! So let's press play. And in this game, we have to tilt our device. The candy canes right there, you see, they give you extra time, so you want to collect the candy canes. Do not eat the broccoli, because no one likes broccoli anyways. See, if I eat it, this will happen. <laughs> That's real life. And you will realize as you keep eating, the Santa is going to get really fatty. So it's about how far you can get into getting the most fatness. <laughs> it actually says that when you lose. Ugh. Now I'm gonna let it run out here so you can see the ending. And no more. And now watch. Final weight, 193 pounds. Total fatness, 687 pounds. Go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have the building game. Let's press start. And you will see that you got different levels, more like worlds, and the levels are inside. And I'm going to start it with one. Just use the crane claw to move the wooden block to the green area. And there's a timer counting right there. And all I got to do is lower this, grab it, and let's set this down. I really like that. I got my roommates hooked up on it. And there we go. New record. I beat my record. So now I'll have a better score. Build a simple bridge. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, and if that happens, you know, you just restart. Here, I gotta grab this block. Let's set it up. And all I gotta do is touch it on the green. There you go. 6.8 seconds. Works real good. It looks good. I don't see why you wouldn't like it. So go try it out for yourself. Aww. Next up we have Power Ray Bubble Shooter. Let's jump into play. Select worlds. And here's different levels you can play through. If you like these type of shooters, you realize that you're gonna know what to do. It's very easy. And you know, shoot it. I like the effects for it. And it's just a very simple game. It's not very hard to learn. And obviously it's moving down as it keeps going. You can choose your next ball if you don't want to shoot the black one. And this is just the first level, so it's very easy, you know. It's going to get quicker and faster as you keep playing. And all you got to do is get to this one spot that will actually let you finish the whole level without you having to get rid of all these. It does a big difference. And you got to hit the disco ball and your level completed. Then you move to the next stage, and you'll get to see like a little quick run through of what's gonna happen. And then you click on it again, click on it. Um, it's a pretty cool game. There's lots of levels that you're gonna like in there to choose from, so go do it to it. Next up, we have Clay Jam. Let's go into the world. Make new monsters so that you can squash them. Here's the quest, squash six noodles in a row. Let's press that. And you see that you got this little ball rolling through. And I, you know, div my finger in the clay. And it drives. Um, you know, I gotta make it land in there at least pretty good. Oh, oh. You gotta watch out for different things popping out there. Oh, rolling basically downhill. Oh, there we go. I need to do six in a row. Six of the worms. And I'm not doing it. But once I get to this spot, I want to... Launch it. And that's my distance. Make a new item here. So let's go into this area and you see which ones I have bought. So you gotta go next to the what else to buy. That's 28. So I haven't made these monsters yet. Let's make. And then he just made a new little creature there. Go back. You got your hill right here letting you know what's going on in there. Like you see I got those are the things I unlocked. As you keep getting further, your hill's gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. My best is 84 and lots of little things there, so go try it out for yourself. Here next we have brains. Little zombies running out, it's too casual. 
and you see which arenas you would like to play in. Level one of two. And what you gotta do is convert humans that are close by. Those are my zombies, and then I got humans right there. And what I gotta do is touch here, and I gotta get these guys to convert. And they will run from you, so you gotta be quick. And then you finish. That is the very beginning of the level, so obviously it's gonna be very easy. Now here we got more people scattered around, and what I gotta do is find a way to get these guys to hover and get these converted. You can zoom in, go into the strategy, and if you wanna move the camera, you wanna do two fingers. Here's my zombies. Let's zoom them in. Oh my god! It's kind of hard to get used to, but you gotta use two of them, and let's do that. And select these, and select them there, oops. So you see there. Oh, ah. And they're converting into zombies. And that's how it's gonna be played. The game's really cool, you're gonna really have to go try it out for yourself. Next up we have This Could Hurt. Let's jump right to play. And you can see the levels that I've played through. Seven. And you can grab some power-ups right here to help you. Only have one slot available, so let's press play. And then here we have a touch-based game right here. As you can see, the world, that's going to be done. So let's jump now and let's not get stuck. Let's stop there. That's what you got to do. Oops. If you do ones without getting hit, you'll get a whole bunch of more points. You do a better scoring. So let's see there. Oops. <laughs> touch the screen and it stops you from moving around ah, ah. stop there I don't want to get punctured ah. and then these bridges will end up you know pulling you down ah. and then you gotta get to this teleporter pull whatever hole press it again stop on it let it move me so obviously you see here this game is getting only crazier there's gonna be a whole bunch of more stuff to it Oh, I forgot to hold it. Uh, but that's how the game is played. Go try it out for yourself. Here next, we have Kawaboom. Press start. You can see different worlds that we'll be able to play in. Let's select the first episode. When you first start the game, you're going to get the tutorial telling you how to play it. And it's kind of like Angry Birds type of feel to it. Not exactly, but... You know, it's a reminder of it. The little button that we press to run, and then we gotta choose when to launch. And when you launch, you gotta knock these cows down. Oh, oh, how's that? How's that? How's that? Eh, right, not too bad. But you see that you gotta touch the screen to continue on, and then touch it again. Each cow does something different. Maybe not in this level right now, but it will do something different eventually. Some of them get real big, that one explodes. This one's just a heavy cow, so let's launch now. Ah, oh, that was probably bad. Oh, not bad. Oh, sweet. And all they gotta do is fall off this little area. Just gotta push them out. Quickly. Oh, there we go. You see the Angry Birds? <laughs> do it, do it. Aw, oh, some of them fell back in. Hell yeah! So go try it out for your cell. And here we have Scarface. And as you can see right here, it says loading Scarface is taking forever. That's because my internet's down today and it needs internet and I'm trying to tether it with my Android phone. And it's not fast enough because it's slow as hell right now. I don't know what's going on. It's a game where you have to build an empire. You gotta go to buildings. You can battle against other people. Come on, why is it doing that? It's not frozen. It's just taking forever. Let me see. No, see? You get your empire. You gotta build buildings. You gotta steal money, kill people for money. It's like a role type of playing Sims game. I don't even know how to explain it. This game doesn't show any crazy graphics at all. It's just kind of like a top view type of thing. It's a simple gameplay, but it can be very addicting. When you play around in the game, you'll see screenshots of the real movie. You'll hear quotes of Scarface saying it. You'll be reading explicit material on there. Uh, it's not working for me, so sorry guys, I'm gonna show it off. But it'll work with you guys if you guys are having internet, so go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Robot Revenge. 
I wanted to bring a simple game here, and we would see that we got a little android who's angry looking, and you can't hit anything, because if you hit something, you have to start all over from the beginning of the level, so you gotta get your farthest distance to get to the very end. If you don't, you'll hit things like that. And there's my check mark on go. Oh! Very simple game. It's repetitive, but I'm only to the beginning kind of areas where it can get a lot harder. As you see there, you got a few tries to play. Yeah. We got the Moogle. We got the Google. We got the Android. We got Magwai. Magwai and the cool loser is in the house. This is how the game is played, so go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have Santa's coming. <laughs> no pun intended. It's going to play. You'll notice when you first play, it's kind of easy. Holding the device will be a lot easier. But you can see the screen's moving. And what I gotta do is jump around and you hear that sonic kind of coin collecting. And I died. Let's do a retry. So you gotta get to the very bottom. And you see that Christmas tree? You gotta get all the Christmas trees. There's 19. You don't have to collect these, but you know, you wanna get them so you get more points. Don't fall in the fire. Woo! Gotta hit the Christmas trees. If you don't, you won't get all three stars. And you'll notice that there's little specials like gingerbread men that you eat, and that will make you go super fast. Not very far. Oh, and I ended up getting uh, eggnog, which eggnog made this guy drunk, and egg, it's the opposite. Oops. Gingerbread. Ow! Oh. Ah. I'm gonna get a gingerbread here. Yeah, wow, look how fast he runs. This is how the game is gonna be played, and I wanted to show this little cheesy game that it could be fun because it's Christmas time. And that is it, guys. And these were the best games of the week, right off Google Play, brought to you by Who the Coo Loser. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to spread the word of the Coo Loser. That's why I'm this far. Thank you, guys. So thank you for joining. I know it's been a little while since I, you know, introduced my little Magwai. Do you love me? Do you love our fans, Michael Tan? Magwai, give him a kiss. Go ahead, give him a kiss. Or a bite. <laughs> And I just want to take this time to let you guys know that I'm going to take a little short break here until next year, which is just in a few days. I'm going to do a lot of work on fixing my description. It's going to be more like refinements to my channel, change a little. I don't know, I just want to take a short break because I need it. I got to catch up on things. I'm going to be seeing lots of family. I might put up a video, but it's not going to be necessarily the best games or apps of the week if I do. Got a second bird in the background. He's a parakeet. He's super annoying. I hate him, but I love him because it gives my Magwai some company, so when I'm not home, he has someone to play with. Huh. Huh. Alright guys, thank you for joining as always. Hope you guys have a safe weekend. And no, the world is not ending guys, that stuff was so wrong. You guys will all be fine, and I will see you guys next year. Later. Oh, I just kissed my birds and I didn't realize he ate peppers. I almost forgot. I wanted to mention that I still got the Nexus 4 and it is going up for sale. It's actually for sale already on eBay. And I got my Nexus right here. So I got two Nexuses right here, right? And it's already up for sale, you see there. That's the bidding, so if you want to go check it out, go do it to it. Nexus 4. Also, with that annoying bird in the background. I got a Nexus S device right here and it actually still has the front facing you know, skin cover. The glass has been protected if you want to take that off when you receive it, whatever. But the thing is that it is rooted. It's on Team Baked, as you see there. Brightness is down. This is one of my favorite operating systems that I love. And I put it on this Nexus S. It runs real good. Let's go into the system settings. And let's go into about phone. And you will see what baked version is running on 4.4.2. It's a really cool device. You can see it's going to run very similar. Pretty much the same as how I run on my, my Galaxy Nexus. Clicking onto it. You see. I made it work this way, so it's like a little mini thing. I don't know how much you want to pay for it. You want to go check that out. I have the description down below. So here we got on the left for sale, the Nexus 4. And on the right side, we have the Nexus S. I love the Nexus series devices. This is the Nexus 2. 
Nexus 3, Nexus 4, and then we got the Nexus 7, and the 7 is for the 7 inch display. I love Nexus devices, this is why I stick to it, but this Nexus device is just not for me today, maybe the next one. You got a couple days left until you can bid for this, and I think you got 3 days for this, so go do it, do it. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.